the old school clothesline. We always had the pole of the old school clothesline somewhere in the backyard. And the leagside boundary was uh, the backyard fence to the next door neighbour, so it wasn't a whole lot of leagside play, so you had to sort of give yourself some room and try and hit through the offside. And The pitch was a concrete path that led to the clothesline, and the clothesline was the stump, so pretty small targets as young kids, and the concrete path gave us a fair bit of bounce. Uh, the wicket was grass uh, on a bit of a slope, uh, a little bit like Lord's, so going away from both of us being left-handers. Yeah, we put like this, you know, sort of hessian tarp down, and play with like a soft ball, so we're like we're playing in like Chennai, you're playing in spinning conditions. And rebounds were in play, so we used to hit it off the caravan and try and get a catch off that. So we'd go to the place itself just to explain it, so always bat down that end. Just like putting a surfboard on the ground for more bounce. A cement pitch that went for 16 metres, so was, we were pretty lucky. That had golf holes in it as well and footy posts at the end. So. Uh, mainly it was a taped up tennis ball for us. Uh, we used a tennis ball. Different ball choices, you could have seam ball, a swing ball, a spin ball. We had my old kookaburra sapphire which I, I had as a junior, ended up being a backyard cricket bat. At the time we used an axe handle as the bat. I'm not sure why we didn't get a cricket bat but it took us about two or three years to actually get one. Um, having an older brother um, who was into cricket as well, we sort of copped a bit of a hiding. So he's 10 years older than me. So I played a lot of backyard cricket with my brother and my dad. I played with my older brother for, for pretty much every day of summer, I think, for about 10 or 15 years. Um, spent a lot of time out there playing, having a good time. Being the older brother, the younger brother always went over to get the ball, so it was a perfect result. Oh, I just always bowled first, I was the younger brother. So I'd spit the dummy and go inside, but then we wouldn't get a game going, so I just ended up bowling. Six and out, always. Um, over the fence on the full, six and out, uh, and you had to go and get it yourself as well. well. We had traditional ones with six and out. Um, we had a very long and skinny backyard, so hitting a straight six was a pretty good shot, but it also meant you were out. But an automatic wiki as well, you need to hear out. Yeah. Um, not many people walk to that. I don't think people walk today anyway. It's a DRS to go ball. <laughs> Trampoline, electric wiki. Um, but we had a trampoline that was as our wiki, automatic wiki keeper and first slip. Nah, you want you want to you want to make it as real as possible. Nah, never one hand one bounce. No one hand one bounce or anything like that to make it as realistic as possible. Well, I feel like one hand one bounce doesn't reward good bowling or good batting. Well, one hand is just one hand. We didn't do one hand one bounce. Either. <laughs> well, we did in my house. <laughs> well, it's a bit two bounce head, but it's a bit a uh, bit dangerous on the concrete. But I mean, pretty self-explanatory. If it's not one hand, one bounce. If it bounces twice, you just lead with the head, uh, which can be dangerous, but also quite fun. Yeah, two bounce head, but's good. One one hand, one bounce. Two bounce head, but three bounce. Kick it up to yourself. Catch it one hand. Probably if you smash a window, you're out. You used to be able to pick one tree as a bowling side. Yeah, occasionally we'd wet the wicket, make it a bit quicker, but pretty slow wicket and, and grassy, but. Yeah. Uh, Mum's car was always quite close to where the stumps were, so if you hit her car in the full, that was out. I always say the best backyard games are, are bowling dominant games. If a person made it to 40, you only got to serve tennis balls at them. So that might be an interesting one uh, to bring in if someone's on 100, <laughs> but uh, that could get a little aggressive. 